Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is Rohit. Friends, in today's video, we are going to talk about how to use GIF files in Android Studio. So, first of all, we will try to understand which library and what other options are available in order to use GIF files in Android Studio. Then, in today's video, we are going to discuss about Android GIF drawable library. So regarding that, I will try to tell you what setup you will require, what are other requirements, which different methods you can use with this particular library in order to use GIF files. At the end of this video, I will try to practically show you how we can use Android GIF drawable library for using GIF files in our project. So let's start the video. So friends here our name of library is Android GIF Drawable. So this library we need to add in the Gradle and then we need to sync the Gradle with our project. So then the library will be available for use. So other than this library we may use the Glide library or WebView or Movie Classes for displaying or for using the GIF within our project but the best way or the best option is Android GIF drawable library so here let's try to discuss what setup we will require we just need to put the following code within the build.gradle file of our project so here in the dependencies section we have to specify this statement implementation pl.droids on roids this is basically the name of company who develop this particular library droids on roids dot gif and uh, this is the name of our library so android gif drawable and followed by that you can see this is the latest version okay so this statement we have to specify in the dependencies section of our build.gradle file and uh, this library basically requires android version 4.2 and above or which means api level 17 plus so while using this library please take care of this uh, version okay so if you are using version less than this particular api level or this android then it will not work so next to that i will try to show you basic examples regarding how we can use this library so first example we have xml code so here you can see this is the name of our library and we are using gif image view over here so this image view will be helpful for including our gif image okay so other parameters you can see there as it is layout width height and here we need to specify the source and we may also specify the background okay with help of certain gif file okay so this is basically the way to use gif image view now this is xml code how we can use it in java code so for using it in java code we have to create the object of gif drawable class so here in this example you can see so this is name of class and this is the name of object gif from assets so new gif drawable and two parameters it require first parameter will be get asset and second parameter will be name of our gif file so another way to use the gif file as a resource is again creating object of gif drawable and then here we will specify the gif file with help of r dot drawable and name of our gif file so here we need to replace get assets with the get resource method this is how we can use this class in order to set the gif file in java now next to that gif drawable basically implementing two classes one is animatable and second one is media player control so whatever methods are available with these two classes that methods we can use with this gif drawable class as well so methods like start stop is running set speed seek to all these are methods of media control class so these methods can be used with your gif as well 
so friends we have already created video on how to play video in android studio so within that video we have covered all these method in detail so if you want you can watch that video for more details now next to that we can also retrieve metadata of uh, gif image so what data we may retrieve like uh, looping count then number of frames that are available in gif if there is any comment that comment also we may retrieve so get loop count method will return simply loop count whether it is 1 2 3 or whether it is infinite then this second method will return the number of frames that are available in gif so at least there should be one frame then next method that is get comment will return the comment text so if gif has no comment then it will return null and one more method we have get frame byte count so this returns the minimum number of bytes that can be used to store the pixels of single frame these are few methods that are used for retrieving the metadata regarding gif now friends we will move to the android studio where we are going to include one gif file okay so here in android studio already i have created this project gif demo and i got with this two files so here in activity main now we are going to change this text so here i will write gif demo and uh, we will change its text size and as well i am going to change its color okay friends next to this we are going to add one gif file to our project so for that i will explore this resource directory and here i will right click on drawable and we will go to open in explorer now here within this location we are going to copy our gif file so from desktop i am going to copy this file so this gif i have already downloaded here and i will paste that gif file here so this is basically the gif moving earth and this gif we are going to include okay so now next to that here you will find now earth.gif file is available in drawable directory now we are going to add dependency within the gradle file okay so for that we will explore the gradle script and here we will look for this build.gradle module file okay there are two files project file and module file so we have to open this module file okay now here in this file as i told we have to look for this dependencies section and you can see lot of other dependencies are available within this project so next to that we will hit enter and we will just copy the dependency so this line we are going to copy and we will add this line here so you may type this line as it is so friends this is what the name of company droids on droids and this is name of our library and followed by version now here you can see as i have changed this gradle file uh, here at the top we got this uh, blue notification and we need to sync now this gradle again so i will click on sync now and here we have to make sure that internet connectivity is available okay now you can see here it is downloading the dependency okay so if dependency is downloaded successfully then we will be able to use now gif file in our project okay so here after this 
I will start typing. Here you can see now. If I start typing GIF, you can see now it is showing this PL droids on droid GIF. So different ways are available: image view, image button, texture view, and GIF text view. So right now I'm going to use this image view, and width will be wrap content as well as height will be wrap content. And here. the source we are going to specify so i will write here drawable and you can see now this image we are going to include okay so this is how we have included and you can see now this earth is shown here okay now we will set its constants so little bit we will reduce its size okay like this we have place our gif now next to that we are going to run our project i will connect my mobile phone so friends i have connected my mobile phone and now we will run our project so here build process has started so friends here build process has completed and now it is installing application so we will select install and now you can see here the moving earth gif displayed okay this is how we can use gif files in our project so friends if you find this video useful please like and share this video i will see you in next video thank you for watching